Today's Explore is the former Stanley Tools Rutland Road production site in Sheffield. This is part 2 of this mini-series. For part 1, click the card above or see the link in the description box. Don't miss out viewers. In this episode, we are going to explore and document the administration block which housed the Office of the Management, Sales Team, Research and Development, Payroll and Human Resources. Formal training was also carried out in this 1950s addition to the well-established Stanley Tools production plant. A sky tunnel joined the two buildings, removing the need to go out in the elements to move from one building to another. As I go up there, what can be seen? Is anybody there though? No. Just keep an eyes, eyes to the right. Although no one really cares about this building anymore, the nearby car garage has suffered vandalism by metal thieves that have been coming into these buildings and causing damage. Therefore the car mechanics are quite alert to people coming into these buildings and they don't want visitors. Therefore we've been very careful not to disturb them because we want them to just get on with their day so we can get on with our day filming and documenting this wonderful building. The reason we've paused at this point is that we can sense and almost hear somebody just on the other side of the boarded up doors, just there. We can almost feel that there's someone there, so we've been very careful not to alert anyone nearby. So this has been used after Stanley Tools closed this building. It was used by an airsoft company for a number of years. Then a timer with a contactor, then this has been some controls. I can smell fresh paint. It smells quite fresh. Fresh paint. Yeah, of the graffiti artists that have been coming here. I mean in buildings like this that have 
buildings like this that have no real historical value as such, you know, they're not war memorials or anything. Um, so I think it's fair game for graffiti artists to come here because Sapex with hey, Salmon. Hello. Hello, man. We just had you. We were just laying low. You knew somebody was here. Yeah, this is Sapex with Sammy. Hello, guys. You finally met me on Andy's channel. Yeah, who's your friend? Ava. Okay, Ava. Hello. It's camera shy, but hey, Sammy's not. Guys. Yeah, hello there. Yeah, so it's uh, another Airbex here. Uh, yeah, Airbex with Sammy. Which bumped into, um, we knew someone else was in the building, so I had to let low for a minute. So we don't want to get disturb anyone, you know. This is the main office block area. It's been converted for airsoft gaming. And that is the wonderful city of steel, which is Sheffield. Let's give you a quick view out the window. Quite dilapidated now. We're going to try and get in the main building as well, um, which is accessed via a sky tunnel. But we'll just see if we can do that. Stanley box. That's quite cool. Paul's taking some photographs. Mm, hey, that's good. Yeah. Get a selfie of me. <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Get into this and that. Yeah, just uh, can you airbrush that out? Yeah, I'd be able to do it on the camera, so yeah. It's yeah. an old piece, but. I ain't seen this one, you see. No, you can see the eyes have been shot out. Yeah, so the airsoft's been pretty long gone, isn't it? But yeah, it's your Sam Yang. I only noticed when I had to come and stop you. It's the, so you've got the Nikon version of mm. the lens. 14mm prime lens, wide angle. Yeah. Nice, good, aren't they? Super sketchy in all situations. <laughs> yeah. That's, the free S's. The free that's, S's. that's us in everything, isn't it? So we've got an old telex up there, telephone exchange, junction box, and out here. I believe that will have been, um, no that's been moved, that's been moved from somewhere else. And uh, just got office areas. <laughs> Sorry if the pitch is grainy, it's because I've got to have the uh, light turned off because there's all sorts of people outside. And we don't want to get seen. No. There's no electrical income there. But it's holding the roof up, so I don't want to move that door. And it'll all come crashing down, making lots of noise. That's the sky tunnel. That's going to be very risky. Oh, well, risky, yeah. I'll see if it's doable though. Okay, okay. Ah, sky tunnel. It looks sealed off at the other end. And as soon as we go out there, we'll get seen. What's the risk?
just going up the stairs. I hope the ceiling might be clock there. Look at the old ceiling tiles. Classic ones with the holes in. They were all to do with keeping heat in and reducing vibration so noise levels were less if everybody was talking on the telephone they were used to capture the sound and dampen it you'll often see similar things like that in music recording studios they would have been very very expensive at the time Dado rail here. Dado rail is where you can add sockets in and telephone points. A lot of it, it has gone along but it's been removed, taken out and used elsewhere. Not really sure what this was for at the opening because the floor's raised up here. There's a carpet here. So there was people. Maybe it was the senior manager's office because again it's got the dado rail on the wall. Possibly the senior manager or supervisor. Could then look out onto the office staff. But I don't know in what environment you'd need to do that. It's got the dirt over it again. But quite an impressive building in its day. Going through here onto the main office areas. This this is at a sliding door metal sliding door on runners here but it's been kicked through sadly there's the window for it and that's just been situated there been a very busy place in its time very busy indeed see the ventilation up in the roof that's vent ducted in and that would have been to supply clean air for the workers within here through these ventilation ports here so there have been supply and extract ventilation because likely in the area in the era that this place was open uh, smoking would have been allowed inside so there would have been people sat at the desks smoking so they would have needed to have forced ventilation to clear the area so it's breathable for everyone including smokers and non-smokers that really was a thing until 2007 I believe it was in the United Kingdom smoking was banned inside and in, in pretty much everywhere but in private residence there's been a telephone access point here 
so people's telephones would have been connected to that junction box. And former light switch. All the electrics have been all the electrics have been ripped out to salvage the copper from the building. And there's Paul. Have you got everything we need to get? Yeah, I'm just gonna take a couple of video. Yeah, on that. Yes. Yeah. I can go back to where the map is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And the seventies wallpaper. Back out. Down there. There. That was the main security cabin. When this place was open as Stanley Tools. And that there is the main Stanley Tools workshop buildings. They carry on all the way along here. Right till over there. So the actual the factory area was very big. All this old hardwood. Hardwood reception. This is more office-esque. But we've got the vents again for the smokers. A random hospital bed. I don't know why that's in here, because this was never a hospital. Just watch yourself near the windows, mate. Yeah, we haven't been round here yet, have we? So we should be at the bottom end of the main staircase in a moment. These have been the little extra offices, independent offices for various people, managers and sales. Another hospital bed there. But I don't know why, because this would never have anything to do with medical. Little pieces from cars, presumably from the car garage. Okay, that. that is a vanity floor lift. That'll have a lift inside it. That's what that was. I saw that downstairs, but I didn't know what it was. And we're back to the main stairwell. There's the sky tunnel across, but it's just too sketchy. We'll get seen straight away if we go anywhere near that. Agents toilets. This would have been the main notice board area. And back this way. This area initially looked like um, a little canteen with a serving hatch, or it was maybe a kitchen. Just there, a little domestic area. What does it look like? It's a biohazard emblem. It's on okay. one of these. On one of the pillars or on one of them? Big black sheets. Okay, I'll have a look with you. The blinds on the windows. Let's keep the sun, keep the sun out. Because I would imagine the trees were well kept by then, back then, but now they're just all overgrown. As nature takes it back. The reception area. This looks like they maybe sold things here, they sold tools or had a discount store and because they've got the Visa MasterCard and it's had contactless which sort of date stamps this building a little bit as to when it was last used unless that was for the airsoft people if they ran a reception here. Let's 
process. That's for BB pellets. There's one in it still look for airsoft. So they maybe sold the airsoft supplies here. That looks like part of an old Stanley tools. Yeah, I think we need to fuck off now. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that because it very much helps me out. See you soon. Bye bye.